Hello there beautiful souls, this is Noelle B and this is Soul Speak. First of all, I want to greet all of you who are watching right now. A very very happy Halloween. I'm filming this October 31st and tomorrow will be All Saints Day. Uh, perhaps it, uh, this video has already been uploaded to my channel. <laughs> and um, we all know that we are actually facing... Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic still and um, I am hoping that everything is well that you are healthy and safe and you are comfortable in your homes and that your loved ones are actually safe also and healthy mm -hmm. um, uh, you know Halloween is one of the holidays that I am looking forward to because it teaches me a lot of lessons, it teaches me a lot of wisdom, it shares uh, a lot of insights, especially when it comes to my spiritual life. Here in the Philippines, uh, we do not really uh, celebrate Halloween, although uh, during the Spanish times uh, until the, the end of uh, World War II, uh, we do, you know, the typical uh, going to the cemeteries, uh, cleaning the tombs, offering flowers and candles and pray for the soul of the dear departed. And some of our uh, youths, especially in the province or in the countryside, they do this thing called pangangaluluwa. It is just like an equivalent of trick or treat in the west however uh, this is already a, tra uh, a dying tradition but it is uh, nice uh, to know that there are still do this this thing yung pangangaluluwa in the provinces of Nueva Ecija in Quezon and we are also hoping that uh, uh, some of our youth the younger generation will continue this beautiful practice. Dying. That is actually one of the most avoided topics that we want to discuss. Death is something that is considered as a taboo. Uh... And we always avoid discussions about death, about dying, about loss. But you know what? There are things that only death can teach us. And let me show you some things that you can learn from death that will make you a better person and will teach you how to live your life into the fullest first of all death is teaching us about impermanence walang permanente dito sa mundo so we need to embrace the fact that our loved ones will soon leave us soon they will go to their graves because life and all other things in this world are just temporary we need to practice the art of detachment in Buddhism detachment is one of the most important things in life that we must learn but it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be emotionless or to withdraw yourself from society uh, to withdraw, to totally or completely abandon your wealth or your relationship with others and go to the one mountains and become a hermit. No. Detachment only means not depending our happiness and joy on things, on concepts, on experiences, and on outcomes. Whatever the outcome of our activity, for example, our plans, 
uh, be it positive or negative, we will not let this thing get out of our way. In achieving happiness and ultimately spiritual freedom. Most of us are actually very, very much attached to physical and material things. Um, most of us are actually uh, attached to our relationships too attached that it will ruin our own, own happiness uh, when these things or when our plans uh, did not end well. <coughs> Second, death also teaches us how to live. Since our existence will cease anytime soon, we need to live a life of goodness, compassion, and love. By doing so, we are living a legacy of goodness. No, para hindi tayo na malilimutan ang ma maaalala sa atin yung magagandang nagawa natin sa buhay. One of the best examples of this is the death of Lloyd Cafe Cadena, one of the famous YouTubers here in the Philippines and one of my idols. He did live a legacy of happiness, of positivity, and kindness. That is why uh, his fans, including me, uh, still remember him as he is, as if he never left this world. Rather, he continuously living in our hearts, in our mind. Just like what uh, Kimora Lee uh, Simmons, an entrepreneur, fashion model, and philanthropist said, live honestly to a higher note. Life is too short, so do the best you can and live your life to a higher note. That furthermore teaches us to know the true nature of ourselves and our existence. In different sacred scriptures and different spiritual traditions, and even in ancient philosophies, we are taught that we are not the body, neither we are the mind. We are the soul, the primordial and the immortal one. In Christianity, we are taught that we are formed in the very likeness or image of God. Because inside of us lives the Spirit of God, the breath of God, that what makes us a living soul. During the time of death, that breath will go back to the spiritual world, go back to God, and will stay there. The Spirit of God that dwells with us, or within us, that what makes us divine, as God Himself. However, when we fall or when we fell out of grace because of quote and unquote, um, eating the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, the, the fruit of knowing good and evil, we forgotten, we have forgotten our true selves, that we are divine, that we are the soul, that we are created through his likeness and his own image. Also, death teaches, teaches us about unity. In Facebook, I always see people post condolences and sympathies whenever someone is actually uh, announcing the death of their loved one. You know, death can be a strong tie that binds us all. During the time of mourning and during the time of pain, 
we often gather ourselves together with our friends and love and other loved ones comforting each other uh, sharing the grief and sorrow and doing the best that we can so that the bereaved will be comforted and learn to live a new life or to continue living of course without forgetting the one who passed away you know it is very very beautiful to see that during the time of sorrow and pain and grief we are bound together by the situation and that makes us uh, our relationship with our, which with each other strong in addition to this death also teaches us to face our fear of death death is part of the natural process if there is birth death is certain and if there is death birth is certain jido krishnamurti in 1982 in one of his lectures in england he said and so we should together go into this question of death what is it that dies and what is it that lives both of them go together when you used the word death dying it means that you have also lived the two cannot be separated that is a basic truth that it cannot be separated as you cannot possibly separate relationship as though by itself like a hurt like a wound like a fear they are all interrelated so we need to face the truth that death will come to us anytime soon and because of that we need to prepare ourselves in that particular time that we need to go that we need to leave this world that we need to to let go of our physical bodies and return to our own spiritual selves and jidu krishnamurti continued so what is it to die and so what is it to live one can one cannot ask what is to die without asking what it is to live if we don't understand the living then we will be frightened of the other naturally but if we understand the nature of living then we will comprehend also deeply the nature of dying did you ask yourself why during wakes we often come and pick into the face of the demis lying peacefully in his or her casket you know it is actually a subconscious thing subconsciously we are actually thinking that someday we will also die we will be put inside a casket either be buried inside the cemetery put inside a mausoleum or burned inside an incinerator in a crematory and be put inside an, an urn so death is a bitter but undeniable and inevitable truth let me repeat that again death is an undeniable an inevitable truth so i invite you my dear friends as you commemorate the day of the dead to meditate on the lessons that death 
has been teaching us. Let the wisdom of death be part of our everyday living. You know what? I can still vividly remember what my elder sister told me. My, my older sibling, my sister, who happened to be my values teacher in high school. She said, Whenever you think deeply about death and dying, you will never violate God's commandments. If we will go to think that life is short, that we will face death one day, then we will be able to assess and review our life, to correct the mistakes that we have made in the past, to live in the now, and do the good things that we need to do because we will only pass this certain stage of our lives before and perhaps we won't be passing in this way again. I hope that this makes sense and I hope that you have learned some, something and thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up comment on the comment section below if you love this video and share it with your friends again this is noel b and this is soul speak the art of soulful living